Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at another type of, I don't know if I would, it's another malware video where we're going to be looking at download button ads and other ads that masquerade as content, which is unfortunately quite common. Google has gotten better at weeding out ones that explicitly try to impersonate the pages download button, although some less honest websites still have that, but we have stuff like this. Now, note the ad box. This is the best way to determine if you are encountering a download button or a download button ad. It will have a box. It will also usually be of a similar size because there's a few sizes that ads come in. So first of all, let's see what Slimware Utilities are all about. Actually, let's go back because I want to open this in a new tip. Oh, can we not? Oh well, it's alright. So this is driver update software, which is software that personally I am I haven't tried this one, I've tried a few of these. I'm not a huge fan. Now, it'll be interesting to see what it says about our drivers, given that this is a virtual machine. So, yeah, what are you gonna... Uh, yeah, we need... Our drivers urgently need fixing because my virtual machine obviously has driver issues. It would make a lot of sense. Our scan is complete. Okay. So, up-to-date drivers. Wow, have we... Have we actually just won the jackpot? Let's find out. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. I I guess we can honestly then give Slimware driver update a passing grade because the fact that they didn't tell me that my virtual machine, which obviously does not have any physical hardware and does have all the drivers installed, they, they didn't tell me my virtual machine needs new drivers, so good work. What this software will generally do is it will tell you if there are newer versions of device drivers available. Now, oftentimes you don't actually need newer ones, and sometimes they, they can go kind of batshit crazy and they'll pick up something that's completely unrelated to your computer. I was actually going, and I still probably will make that video about a uh, different software from a defunct company, which I will be showing you, and that is going to be on Windows XP, where it seems like more of these useless ones come about. Okay, the next software is... Video Converter HD, which actually doesn't even seem to be anything, and I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show any more of that, because there is one thing that is more dangerous than pornographic ads for this channel, it is those types of ads, because video downloading software is against YouTube's terms of service, and you can actually get a strike for showing it, so I'm not going to show that. So we're going to show WinZip. Now this is a real software, and we're on the real page. As far as I know, this is like freeware, so I don't actually know what they would stand to gain by installing themselves unwanted on your computer. So far on Mediafire, we've ended up with a lot of stuff installed, but none of it, not a bit malicious. So let's refresh the page and see if we can get any new ads. WinZip again, Mediafly sales enablement. This doesn't even look like, uh, this isn't even a download button. So, that's so weird, so, use evaluation, so I guess this isn't free, but, like, WinZip is weird to me. Like, Windows has had Zip stuff built in for decades, but, oh wow, this is way different. I, the version of WinZip I used, like, ten years ago looked very different. This is just weird looking. So let's try, there's another one in this video, which is MC Pedal, which might just be in Minecraft. I don't know where this is going to go. Let's just try and find the download button. These websites can be a bit of a, a bit sketchy as well because they're more WinZip. Google seems to think we really, really want WinZip. I don't, I actually don't. Send feedback. Send feedback. Seen this ad multiple times, no interest in it. Okay, so what is, Oh, this is a tag, it's not a download button. This is just a confusing website, more than a... More than a, uh, malicious one. Okay. Again? What, what? I don't, I legitimately don't understand what WinZip are playing at here, given that WinZip is not malware, and I can't imagine why they think these types of ads. I guess because it, like, maybe by default it takes over your default archive manager, which is an undesirable behavior. So I don't like WinRail much either. Okay, here's the download link. I missed that. Real quick. Sped ROM dot com. That does not doesn't sound trustworthy. This is in fact a warning about AdFly, which is what 
This is one of Adfly's thousands of domains, so you don't give them notifications. Uh, sportsinteraction.com doesn't seem to exist anymore, if it ever did. Skip that. Oh, is this a double Adfly? No, no, we are not going to. This is, this is quite possibly the most annoying. It's technically not. Is it just never going to let us through? Okay, and now we've ended up on bet 365 somehow. Okay. So let's just, you know what, fuck it. Let's just it, go ahead with it. I, I don't even care anymore. You know, I absolutely despise Adfly and now we're back on Mediafire. So that's Slimware again. Slimware, is this a different driver updater? You'll need a, Okay, what's this? Launch your website. Okay, well that's... Squarespace is a fully legitimate um, thing as far as I know, but... That's, where, that's fine. Like, plenty of advertise... Oh, now we've got our personal McAfee discount because we gave the notification permission. Never ever do that. You're going to regret it a lot if you do that. Your PC is currently running Windows 10, yes. That is accurate, and this will, and this is like, I don't think there's anything wrong with this, but it sort of is impersonating, makes it look like it's from Microsoft, when of course this isn't. This is some third-party software that I do not recommend installing. Let's go for simple driver updater. Sometimes these types of programs are tagged by antiviruses as pups. Oh, and now we've got Norton. Let's go to Norton. Wow, we have both Norton and McAfee, both telling us our computer is probably at risk. Antivirus.shop. Are we going to a legitimate Norton webpage? So this CD affiliate business both companies must be engaging in. Okay. Simple driver updater. I don't know how much more of this Norton I can handle, where it's like, turn on your antivirus. But it's not, it's like, it's fake. Okay, so let's see. Two out of di oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's some nonsense. These guys, they weren't gonna tolerate uh, telling us the truth. So what do we have? Monitor drivers. Asus, this is a virtual, they may not, what? Okay, that's absolute rubbish. Do not, I don't think it would actually let you, but this driver could actually cause problems. And here we go, HP ET, so, system device, I don't, that might be technically not a ter not the wrong driver, but given this is a virtual machine, that's a terrible thing to install, you don't know what it's going to do. Okay, processors, well, back up your drivers, see what, how this does. As, as it, my understanding of how drivers are installed would imply this doesn't really work, but let's Virtual NVMe? Do we even have an NVMe disk on this? Maybe we do. Yeah, that's cool actually. So they're updating. So now you get a virtual M NVMe disk. Okay, backup process continues. So I wonder, wonder how we, I think that's probably where they'll try and get you to pay. I've seen enough of these driver update utilities before. They are useless, but they're not necessarily malicious. Although, I would personally not not feel entirely safe running this stuff, so okay, that's done. Let's try find something with Zippy Share. It does not exist anymore, but... Well, please wait several seconds. We're gonna give Zippy Share notification permissions because that's a smart idea. Please wait a few seconds. Oh, that's cool! So this ad is really trying to... And then it goes to... I assume this is another sketchy affiliate ad. Shopify? Yeah, these guys are just doing some sort of weird marketing. Okay, Shopify, that's a real business. As is ExpressVPN, I think those are all good services. Oh, and even if you click on it early, Shopify. Oh, and this one is hidden. Allow to verify you're not a robot. I wonder how many people actually fall for that. Now we're on spazdiet.com, but we are, is that a, it's a movie site? It's a, it's a weird name for a movie site, but I guess 
There you go, Spaz Diet. Add extension to Chrome. Pop Block Plus. Now, P Blocker Plus. Okay, we gotta go to normal. We go to normal Chrome. Pop Blocker Plus. Now, given that pop up blockers are not. Oh, and it's got like some sort of logo on here. Let's look at the review. Oh, oh, we've already had our had our tabs uh, taken away. Oh, that's creative. So we're not. Oh, that's interesting. So we're we not able to even. Ooh, that's that's bizarre. So that you can't even see the details of what this. Ex that's why it has zero reviews. I'm more concerned if it doesn't have ads, because if it doesn't have ads, that means that it's probably doing something more than just advertising. Let's disable this and now look at it. Okay. Now we can view in web store because related. Productivity Marco Camber. This extension automatically detects and blocks pop-up ads identified by special patterns being created to identify and auto-close all detected pop-ups. Okay. How to remove. Okay. I don't know if there's any. Let's let's see what the website has to say about it. We can look at their privacy policy. You are protected. But we didn't... That's weird, so that must just be static code. This is a weird one. Chrome extensions are by far the most dangerous way to get malware. Search dimension, okay. So they provide search services. Okay. Well, it's definitely shady, but yeah, I would not recommend installing this because goodness knows what else it's doing. Let's see, because the first thing, a lot of people ask me this on my comments. Do I enable Windows Defender? Yes, I do. I don't disable it. So let's see what Windows Defender has to say about all this stuff we've installed. Those people constantly it, and it's a good question. Yes, I don't disable it. I've thought about doing that, but I've honestly found that pretty much in every video where I've intentionally installed malware, I have not had any issue with Windows Defender. Windows Defender is very good at catching old malware that has already probably ceased to be relevant, but it is not so good at catching new stuff. Maybe it's better at catching more widely spread stuff, but if it's just your run-of-the-mill malware, it doesn't seem to do much. It's free, so you can't fault it, but I don't think really any antivirus is super effective against... Skip this against more serious malware that's actually taking the time to cloak it. Eventually, of course, the malware becomes known. So Windows Defender says that there are no viruses on this computer. And Malwarebytes, unlike all this other rubbish, is immediately, this is a good one. I recommend using Malwarebytes. It will catch, won't catch everything, and you don't need the paid version, but if you download the free version, you will catch most malware that is known. Not obscure stuff, like the channel stealers, which... Oh my goodness. Okay, we have a... Wow. Wow, that's... I think we must have installed something that's downloading more stuff. These driver uploaders may have... And updaters may have, in fact, turned out to be a Trojan. Or it's just... Okay, it's just all the... So we've got a bunch of pops. A pup is the term for potentially unwanted stuff that installs itself and you probably don't want or should not want. Driver update. Backups. Oh, that's... Oh, I guess that's... A, actually, okay. Before we uninstall this, I want to see how this works, because this is interesting. Simple install. Driver update. Backups. Open with WinZip, which is... Honestly, to me, WinZip is more annoying than this useless driver stuff. You've used WinZip zero times. I don't care. WinZip, you are complete garbage. Okay. Why would anybody want... 
Like this is so much less convenient than just using. Oh, this one we're gonna do. Why would anybody want WinZip for this? That's so stupid. Okay, here we go. So, so it is just like copying files of every driver installed on the computer. That could arguably be considered useful functionality. I don't know how it works or if restoring it would do you any good, but that's not terrible behavior. But the rest of it, yeah, we don't want. Okay, yes, a bunch of languages. Well, that's good to have. Um, more unwanted software, registry keys, files, processes. Has it found anything dangerous? I don't think it has because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to show malware. Oh, adware dot search. Okay, so that is the that's the extension we installed, and then there's several pops. That to me looks like that could have could have been installed with the other pops, so they may be installing more. So let's get rid of all of it. And then we can see if we've actually gotten rid of all of it. Generally, you have to reboot. Yes, I'm going to reboot. And we're going to see if we have, in fact, fixed the problem. Malwarebytes is free and easy to use, so I strongly recommend running it if you do believe you've installed something malicious. And depending on the nature of the malware, you should then either decide whether you're happy with that, you want to go through and look manually in Task Scheduler, where you can oftentimes find ways that malware is starting, or if you are extremely concerned, like if the malware is intended to steal money, you may just want to reinstall Windows. Let's see what Google Chrome has to say. Extensions. So it hasn't removed the extension. But I'm going to do that right now. So it is gone. And it actually... Apparently that was trying to do something. Now let's scan again. It's quite possible that that website may have already been trying to download more pops. Or the thing that was classified as malware was different and... It actually just classified the extension as a pop, but so far so good. Good work, Malwarebytes. Gotten rid of everything. Good. So I think that's going to be all for this video. So like our other videos, it seems like basically all the malware you're going to run into on the internet is browser extensions. It's quite rare to get standalone malicious EXEs. It does happen with targeted attacks like the YouTube ones I've demonstrated, but most malware nowadays seems to be targeted at the browser because it's cross-platform, it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And if you sync your Chrome account, the malware may even be able to jump between your different computers without any additional work on the malware author's part. So that's going to be all for now, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any suggestions, stuff you would like me to test in the comments below. Bye!